Overnight, all emergency services in Detroit experienced a communication outage. Radios are now back up and running right now, but the question is, how did this happen? And it's not the first time. Our Nick Monticelli has more on what may have caused the outage. Good afternoon. I would say this radio outage was frustrating for both police officers and the administration on two different levels. This outage started at about 2 o'clock this morning. It lasted about two hours. Now, the radios were down, affecting police officers, firefighters, and EMS here in the city of Detroit. Again, it was down for nearly two hours. And during that time, the personnel was ordered back to the stations because, of course, you don't want people on the streets of Detroit without a guaranteed way to communicate back to their stations. Now, this is caused, according to the DPD, by a server overheating. It was some kind of tower issue, and then the server started overheating. And here's where the administration frustration would come in, I would assume. They have backup systems, and those went down as well. Now, here's the important part for the residents here in the city of Detroit. The priority one calls were still dispatched using personal cell phones. So the comms department would call an officer on their personal cell phone and have them go somewhere if someone's life uh, was in danger at that moment. During that time, police say they had seven priority one calls that were handled during this outage. Now, the police chief did issue a statement this morning saying, we would like to reassure our citizens that there is no priority higher to us than the safety and trust in their police departments. We will continue to work diligently to improve our technology to better assist us in responding to the needs of our citizens. Now, you may remember 2013, a very similar situation, radios going down, for two hours. Then the police chief said this would never happen again. It happened again. This was a technology error. So the chief is having a press conference later today to talk about an extremely violent weekend in the city of Detroit. Hopefully, we can talk to him more about this issue as well. At DPT headquarters, Nick Monticelli, Local 4.